Welcome to Gray on Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have this quarter circle, this largest quarter circle in the figure with the center C, and uh, inside is a smaller quarter circle with that center at D, and a semicircle is drawn, which is a tangent, uh, I mean mutually tangent with the largest quarter circle. And the radius of the largest quarter circle is given to be 4 units. And we are required to find the area of this blue region or the semicircle. Okay, so first thing that we can do is we draw the radius uh, of this uh, uh, quarter circle, the largest quarter circle in, I mean, we connect the point C to E. And we focus on the triangle form inside this uh, smaller. Uh, quarter circle so formed by the triangle the formed which is uh, the legs will be uh, this uh, CD and uh, DE and since uh, this is from a quarter circle then this triangle is an isosceles uh, right triangle and therefore also since uh, the radius is 4 this will be CE will be equal to 4 and uh, this side uh, is equal to uh, we just need to divide the 4 by square root of 2 and we rationalize so multiply by square root of 2 over square root of 2 okay so we have a 4 square root of 2 over 2 and we cancel this so this becomes 2 square root of 2 2 square root of 2 so that is the length of the side CD Okay, so next is we draw another uh, line from this point of tangency between the semicircle and the largest uh, quarter circle. So we just copy this line and this will also be the radius. Okay, so if this is the radius, so this is also 4. Uh, so 4. But since uh, it, this should pass, since they are mutually tangent, then this should pass through this. Uh, the sen this segment should pass through the center of this uh, uh, semicircle, and therefore uh, this uh, segment will be r. Let's call this the radius of the smaller. I mean the semicircle. So this will be a uh, four minus r. Okay, so let us label the remaining unknown points. So, EFG, so let's call this uh, G, center G, and this point of tangency as H. And we also notice that this DG is also R. So, we can actually uh, see a right triangle here, DGC. So, DGC with the following uh, legs for minus, I mean R and 2 square root of 2. In 4 minus r so we just consider this uh, other leg of this uh, right triangle dgc and we proceed with using pythagorean theorem okay so next is we isolate this uh, triangle uh, d g c and uh, this is the right angle at d and this is one leg r and this is two square root of two and this is uh, 4 minus r. Okay, so next is we consider this equation, Pythagorean theorem. So r squared plus 2 square root of 2 square is equal to 4 minus r squared. So we just copy this uh, r squared. And this becomes uh, square this 2. This becomes 4. And if you square this square root of 2, so that is 2. So this becomes uh, 8. So it's equal to. We uh, expand this uh, binomial, so this becomes uh, 4 squared, that becomes 16, minus 2 times 4 is 8, but negative, so 8r plus r squared. Okay, so next is we cancel this uh, r squared on both sides, and uh, put this negative 8r to the left, so this becomes positive 8r, and put this... Uh, 16, I mean, we just uh, let it be there, 
So 16 minus 8. So 8R is equal to 8. So R is equal to 1 unit. I sorry, no S of course. Okay, so now for the final step, so the area is equal to pi over 2. Since this is a semicircle times uh, r square, and the uh, area is equal to pi over 2 times 1 square, the radius. So area is equal to pi over 2 square units. And that is our answer. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.